Hey guys, it's Mo. So I have another video for you today on designing in Inkscape. I just got finished filming a video on making these elements here. Whoops, these elements here, uh, heart checklist, teardrop, and header, um, header covers, what are these called? Headers, I guess. In Inkscape, today I'm going to show you how to make these labels here. Inkscape is a free drawing software. It is amazing. I love this software. It's much like Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's great because you're creating files that aren't what I call third-party files. You're creating files that you're going to be able to open in multiple applications. So, for example, if you design in Silhouette Studio, you can only open those studio files in Silhouette Studio. You can't open them anywhere else. If you design something in Word and save it as a doc file, you can only open it in a word processing program. You can only open it in Word. If you design something in Cricut Design Space, it's all based in the cloud. You're only going to be able to open that design in Cricut Design Space. That's great for those companies because that means that you will stick with their um, cutting machines or stick with their softwares. But let's say you have a Cricut and a silhouette, or let's say you want to switch to a brother scan and cut, you know, you're going to lose all of your designs if you design slow, solely in the third party, as I like to call it. I don't know if that's what it's really called software. So using Inkscape, which like I said, is free 99, you're going to be able to create SVG files and PNG files. Those are the main JPEG files you can create as well. But SVG and PNG files are the main files that we're going to use for um, designing with your Cricut or designing with your silhouette um, software. So um, this, this design here can be done. You can create these to use in Silhouette. You can create these to use in Cricut Design Space. It doesn't matter um, however, however you want to use them. So um, what we're going to do today is create all of these little labels. In this previous tutorial here, I created this little heart. I showed you how to make a heart. So go ahead and watch that video in order to learn how to make this heart that we're going to use in this tutorial here. And then come back over and um, it'll be really easy for you to follow along. So I'm just going to hit Control V. I copied it, Control C from that other canvas and hit Control V on this canvas. And that's another thing you don't always have to design your elements from scratch. Just create the elements that you want, save them, and then copy and paste them between your um, your canvases as you go to make your stickers. So I'm going to hit the control uh, button on my keyboard, and I'm going to use the middle scroll wheel of my mouse to scroll in just so I have a uh, bigger canvas here and things are zoomed in that I can work with. What we're going to do is go to create a rectangles and squares. We're going to make this uh, label here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm also going to change the color because I don't want it to be the same color as the heart. We're also going to go up here and make sure that our measurements are in inches. Now we want this box to be about 1.5 inches tall by 0.5 inches high. You can see this has some rounded corners here. So I'm just going to double click on this. I'm going to scroll in again using the control and the scroll wheel on my mouse. And I'm just going to bring this little, um, it's blue now, but this little circle dot around until I say, yep, that looks that looks like I, I want it to be. I'm also going to hit control and then D. That's going to make a copy of it. I'm also going to click on that and change the color. We'll change it to something different. And you want to make sure your proportions are unlocked for this because you're kind of, you're just going to be making a little guy to sit in the middle of your label here. And you just make it the way you want. I'm going to bring this guy over so we can sort of compare. Um, then you're going to go hold down the shift key and select both of your rectangles. Go to align and distribute. If that's not showing, if your fill or your align and distribute isn't showing, just go to object, select fill and stroke, or go to object, align and distribute. You want to make sure selection area is highlighted here. And then we're just going to align it on the center axis. You do, or axis, I'm sorry. You don't want to align it in the middle because you want to leave room for these hearts. So you can have your little um, um, habit checklist. I'm thinking that this is maybe a little bit too close to the top there. It just depends. Then you can double click again and move your little circle if you want to change the way that the uh, corners look. It's all an aesthetic thing. It's all up to you. Um, we're going to go over here to fill and stroke and I'm going to change that to white. I'm also going to bring my heart down. If you have an element that's behind another element and you want to bring it to the top, these guys are your best bet. This is the raise the selection to the top, and that's going to be great. So I want to also make sure that my proportions, proportions are locked because I don't want to be stretching and changing this and changing the proportions. Um, so we're just going to make this a little bit smaller. 
And again, when I'm zooming in and out, I'm pressing the control key and using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And so that looks that looks about right. Now there's seven days in the week, so we wanna make seven little habit guys. So we're gonna select the heart and hit control D six times. So control D is in dog, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna use my shift key and my left, or my, sorry, my right arrow key and just move this guy over until I feel like he's about where I want him on this guy. So then we're gonna hold down, we're gonna select, we're gonna click and scroll. No, what am I trying to say? <laughs> we're going to click and select all of, drag the cursor across and select all these hearts. It may look like there's two, but I promise there's more than two. We're gonna go to align and distribute. You wanna make sure selection area is um, selected again. We're gonna click on and make horizontal gaps even. And that's going to bring you seven guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hearts across. We can also drag and select all again, go to fill and stroke and change those guys to white as well. So now you have a habit tracker. So we can control C, control V, click on this yellow guy, change him to green, control V. Uh, let's move him away from the purple one. Click on this blue guy or this blue guy, this yellow guy, change him to blue. Now you have all these different habit trackers that you can just make a whole set of them. It doesn't matter. It's all up to you, but you don't have to design these from scratch all the time. Just save this, add this to your canvas and, and make it how you want. So we're going to do the same sort of thing with this um, label box here. I like these because you can put the little icon stickers here. So what you can do is just control C, control V and take your little guy that you already made and do the same thing. Control D, you've made a duplicate of it. I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna unlock the proportions and I'm just gonna bring this guy down until I have him in a little icon way that I like. I might wanna change the roundness of the corners there. You know, I might wanna change the roundness of these. This is all, again, an aesthetic thing. You can make it square, you can make it round, doesn't matter to me. And then change this to white. What you also want to do is drag and select all again, or you can hold down the shift key and select both the outer and inner rectangle, rounded rectangle, go to align and distribute. We want to align this along the center horizontal axis, not the vertical axis. Um, so now you have an icon label box again, control C, control V, fill in stroke, click on the green here. We'll make it red or like an orangey color. Um, another one, make it purple. You know, so now you have icon label boxes that you have made. Super simple, super easy. Again, just pull them into your canvas. Anytime you want to make a different color, you don't have to make them, them from scratch. Now we'll make this guy, since we're going to be working from the same sort of um, shape, a rounded rectangle. So again, I'm just going to, I'm gonna take this, both of these actually, control C, control V. I'm gonna work over here to make this. What we wanna do is click on our back rectangle. This guy is about 0.85 inches. So again, you can make them however you want. You make it big, you make it small, it doesn't matter to me. This is your box. Then we wanna make sure our proportions are unlocked again and just make a little guy. You may want to change your roundness of your corners. You may want to do whatever. You want to make him a little bit bigger. It's pretty great. Um, I think I want to make the corners a little bit less round. Whoa. That's just me. Do it like that. Then we want to drag and select all and go to, to align and distribute. Now we want to do on the horizontal and vertical axis. And in order to make this here a little bit um, transparent, you want to play with the opacity. So we're going to click on the white middle rounded rectangle, go to fill and stroke. You're going to see this opacity button here. You can change it however you like. You like it a little bit more opaque, you like it less opaque. Doesn't matter to me, this is your box. So now we have a rounded half box and you can control C, control V, change this back color here to green. It's your box, you do what you want. 
So now we have those rounded half boxes. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, you can make them skinnier. Doesn't matter to me, this is your rounded half box. So now we're gonna make this sort of um, box here with this little triangle, triangle, little banner label. I like these again for um, marking appointments or using little icons on them, they're really cool. So we're gonna draw a rectangle. And you can see this has kept over the same properties as the last thing I designed. So all you wanna do is raise the opacity, double click again and bring the circles until they meet. So you have a square guy here. We're gonna make this to be 1.5 inches wide. And how tall is this? 0.42, that seems good. 0.42. So now we have this part of it. What we're gonna do is Control C, Control V. I'm gonna change this to a different color and I'm just gonna eyeball this here. And I'm gonna say, I want this to be maybe about like that on there. And what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, um, uh, another little node to make this little flag guy. So what we need to do is hold Control Shift and then hit the C button until it is um, converted the way we want. And the way we want it to be is to have these four little nodes. If we click on this, you see that it's got two squares and a circle. We want all these squares to be there. So then, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and you want to, you can be scientific about this. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and say, this is the middle and double click to add a node. We're gonna hit control, hold the control key and drag this up until we get a nice little banner. And what that's gonna do is allow you to drag it up proportionally and not have it be one side bigger than the other kind of thing. So then we're gonna go click on our um, little cursor and I'm gonna hold the control key and zoom back out. And I'm gonna go back to my align and distribute, making sure selection area is selected here. I'm gonna align them, um, the left edges, and then I'm gonna align the top edges. And what that does is make your little guy fit perfectly in there. If you want him to be a little bit longer, you can adjust his size there, making sure the proportions are unlocked. And now you have a cool little appointment label. So again, Control C, Control V, we can change the colors, fill in stroke, let's make this red, and let's make this blue, um, whatever colors that you want, you can make. So now we have those little appointment boxes. And again, if you want to, you can arrange these in a um, sticker sheet, as I like to call it, or you can export each individual um, object by itself. Uh, so we can select this one, go to export PNG image, export as, I'm gonna go to my Google Drive, I'm gonna save it under a test guy here, we can save it as blue half box, save, and you wanna make sure you click on export, and also make sure that 300 DPI and selection is um, selected here in this box, and then we can go and find it, Google Drive, blog posts, free stickers, test, blue half box. So, now what the Cricut is going to see is that this is a uh, PNG file that we just exported, export as PNG, so it's gonna cut around this rounded shape here. If you wanna use these in your Silhouette Studio and you're gonna import um, an S or a PNG, you're going to have to trace it. Um, if you have Designer Edition, you can import these as an SVG, so you would just go File, Save As. If you want to um, maybe just save this one, I would Control C, File, New, Control V, save as, and it's gonna save it as an SVG and just save it as blue half box. And then you'll be able to import that SVG into your Silhouette Studio if you have Designer Edition. Um, if not, you'll have to trace these. You may have to create a blackout file in here, which all you would need to do is to um, highlight that and then go to your fill and stroke and make everything black. And then you can import that and trace it. And then you have your half box traced in Silhouette Studio. Um, 
this is a really great program. I love this program. I hope this video helped you to make some elements for either designing or for your sticker sheets in Cricut Design Space or in Silhouette Studio. I will leave a link down below to how to make a sticker sheet in Cricut Design Space that uses um, like a picture, like uh, I believe it's a planner image. So you create an offset and stuff, but you don't need to create an offset around these. You'll just need to align these on your sticker sheet the way that you want them. I will um, upload another video on how to align these elements on a sticker sheet and show you how to export them and whatnot. Um, so that will be another video. I hope this video was helpful. I hope I didn't jump around too much. And I hope that you found this something that you are able to do to create stickers for whatever machine that you want to use, or even just print these out, cut these by hand. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and see what other Cricut Explore, Silhouette, designing type of videos that I have. And go ahead and give this video a like if you found it helpful. So I'll talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.